it's a bell time and welcome back to my channel um so number one it has now been a year since i started uploading so that's kind of cool so thank you for watching and commenting i have really enjoyed uh uploading on this channel since i started it and number two today is a dollar tree haul i have this beautiful reusable bag that all my goodies are in dollar tree is now a dollar and 25 um so it's not quite dollar tree but that's okay uh last night actually i was watching some dollar tree hauls and i saw these stickers and i thought those are so pretty so i went and looked at dollar tree today because um i i really do try to purchase second hand for the most part um but you know i i really love like gemstones and stuff like this so i decided to head in today uh, to see what I could find because it is definitely easier to find stickers and such firsthand <laughs> instead of uh, looking for scraps of them secondhand. Not that I still don't prefer finding things secondhand, but I just thought it had been a while since I had uh, really looked around uh, at a store that wasn't a thrift store for stuff like this. So I've got everything out of my bag. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, of course, are these stickers. I have gone through each of these sheets and selected a few that I already put in my journal to haul, but these just have gemstones, dream catchers, feathers, super pretty. I love gemstones. Um, I do not believe in um, magical abilities because they're rocks, uh, but I love how pretty they are. So I love how pretty these stickers are. I got many more stickers as well, like many more stickers. I got these little space stickers, little circles. I use this row here, but it's just a few sheets. Let's see how many, 96 stickers. This sheet has 70 stickers. Um, so there's just several of these sheets and I really like space. Another one of these sticker sheets is space themed. Uh, this one, so cute. Um, fruit, ice pop, summer themed. I am a summer person through and through. This one has 33 pieces on it. <sighs> Just so, so cute. I love this one. This one I also love. My mom said a first grader would be just as happy as I am with it. Uh, and she is right. <laughs> It has unicorns and rainbows and music and shooting stars and a princess castle um, and sparkles. So yeah, I love it. I freaking love it. It is so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, next up are a bunch of these like really reflective foily sticker sheets. And these are all like religious stickers. So they're really cute like... Spirit Lead Me, Love All Creation, love that one because I love the environment. Be the Light, um, God is Good, He is Mighty. Um, let's see, this one says, Trust in the Lord, Walk by Faith, Choose Joy, Grace Upon Grace, Be Still. Just nice little quotes. And this one has... Pray, be the change, wonderfully made, love that. I like this, God is greater than my highs and lows. And yeah, I just really like these. I thought they were really cute. And of course they have a really nice message. Attached to them as well and they each come with 50 stickers. And then next I got this giant thing with 300 stickers and they're all butterflies. And I will open this up to show you. So it's got these almost like stampy stickers, like they're big squares. Got some sparkles on them too. And then there's some kind of whimsical doodly ones, some more natural looking ones. These ones are small and they have like a sky background. Some more whimsical ones with flowers, and then these circular ones that are also a little bit more realistic. I love butterflies. They're just one of my favorite creatures, and uh, I just love butterflies. So I was really happy to find, you know, such a large 
amount and so many styles because I will definitely use them. And then I got a couple of planner stickers. These are also 300 piece. Um, these other stickers are under the brand Jot. And then this one is Crafter Square. And these are like gold, pink, black, white. Um, a little more classy, like classic planner stickers. Um, yep. Just cute little things. And then this one I really, really like. Um, this one is like a more space stars themed. Um, I guess it's a little more like spiritual zodiac, which again, I don't believe in zodiac signs because astrology is predeterministic and I believe that humans have free will. So that is my little bit on that. But I do love the stars and I love constellations and I love these stickers. So I did get this. Love it. So that's all the stickers I got. Oh, I lied. That's not all the stickers I got because I got some 3D butterfly stickers. So these ones are also sparkly and they are pop-up. And I actually have, I live in an apartment with two other girls and they both have like pop-up uh, butterflies on their wall and I'm like severely lacking in my pop-up butterflies. So I got these and I'll probably pop them up the next time that I'm at my apartment and I just love them. I love butterflies as we know. Okay, next I got very important, very important little gnomes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so number one, these are the colors of the Powerpuff Girls, which I appreciate. Number two, um, like I said, I live with two other girls, so perhaps we could each have a gnome. And if they don't want them, uh, I like them. And if I don't want to keep them all, my mom also has a garden. So I just thought they were so cute. <laughs> yes, I got gnomes. And you know what? These gnomes honestly match the bedspread. So I'm just going to like let them vibe over here for the rest of the video. How do we feel about that? Nope, that's causing a shadow. Haha. -ha. They will be vibing with the rest of the haul. Next up is this incredible squirrel succulent holder. Okay, I love the gnomes, but they are a little bit in the way. I'm sorry, guys. You've got to go over here. <laughs> okay, anyways, I actually got this for my mom. Her birthday's coming up, and she loves squirrels. Um, and she also loves plants. She plants stuff all the time. Uh, has a big old garden. And I just thought this was so cute. And I really thought that she would like it. So, uh, I'm looking forward to her reaction come her birthday when she opens this up. <laughs> okay, next I got some more craft supplies. Number one, I do not have a Cricut. So I don't technically have use for vinyl or vinyl, however you say it. But I saw this iridescent stuff and oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Look at this. Look at this rainbow. So, it's so cute. And I kind of want to make tiny fairies to go with my gnomes in the garden. And I'm going to use this to make wings. Oh, wouldn't that be so pretty? So, I'm excited to see how I use this. But I was like, it's a buck twenty-five. You know, I might as well try it out, you know? Because if I don't like it, it wasn't too much of a, of a waste. And then... I got these really cute little bottles. I love tiny jars um, for flowers. Um, I think I might collect some rocks from a nearby river in here. I also have little gemstones in some bottles like these. So um, yeah, I just thought these were really cute and I could use them to decorate as gifts and DIYs. Um, yeah. Then I got some crafting tools. I got this crafting spatula. So this says it's for scraping things off of mats, which I'm sure I can do, but I actually think I'll probably use this for Mod Podge because the Mod Podge won't get like caught up in the bristles of a brush. Therefore, I won't waste as much Mod Podge. And this way, I don't know, I feel like I'll just have a less lesser likelihood of getting it on my fingers, though honestly, that's probably not true. But 
it, it's nice to have a, a tool like this just for crafting. Um, and I know that I will use it. And I love this color of blue. So this one's also from the Crafters Square little brand. Um, and then I got a picker tool, uh, which is for uh, people that use crickets, which I don't have, like I just said. However, I do still believe that I can use this. Um, so yeah, got that. Then I got, these are little, it says embossing tool, but they are little like daughters. So I can use this, honestly, if I ever wanted to do polka dots on my nails, like I'm in 2013, but I never paint my nails. So I didn't really need to try to crack a joke with that one. Um, but I can definitely use this with like sculpting clay. I'm actually thinking, I've been working with salt clay recently. Um, and with these gnomes, I mean, like, they gotta have little fairies in the garden to go with them, right? So I'm gonna use the iridescent um, vinyl to make the wings, and I can make some salt dough and use these to shape the fairies. This one is a piercing and scoring tool set, so I'm actually gonna break into this. So it comes with two. I don't know if they're different or the same. Actually, it does look like one is smaller than the other. Uh, that was not effective for safety at all. Okay, so yeah, so one is smaller than the other. I honestly wonder if I could use this for like book binding, for like piercing the holes. It's probably not strong enough for that. These definitely could be made better because there is a clear like plastic notch here. But again, you know, it is $1.25 tree, so I'm not expecting a ton from these products. But again, it's kind of like, this gives me a chance to experiment without having to spend a bunch of money on craft supplies. Um, and if I only use it a few times, you know, then I would say it's worth the purchase. So that's actually all the crafting supplies that I got. I did get a few more like makeup items because I do enjoy makeup and beauty. Um, I actually used to have a whole channel like dedicated to that. Uh, I just don't really wear makeup as much anymore. Sadly, my eyes get irritated by it, and I feel like a makeup look can't be complete without mascara, which is a bummer. Um, but I do um, still wear makeup from time to time, and I've actually had both of these primers before, and I've pretty much used them up because I really enjoy them. So I repurchased these, and I got some of these brushes. Um, these were really popular years ago, and I never got them because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on them. And so when I saw these today, I was like, whoa. Like, I might as well try these out because I have actually gotten uh, makeup brushes at Dollar Tree before and they're kind of bomb, like, not gonna lie. Okay, interesting, interesting. I also, fun enough, funny enough, I use Dollar Tree foundation. It's just, like, the best one I found. So, I guess Dollar Tree, like, face products are where it's at, you know? So, I'm excited to play with these and I'm excited to play with everything else that I've gotten. Let's see if I can put everything in a row and make it look like pretty <laughs> for a thumbnail or something. But thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching my channel if you have been watching all year. Um, or if you just joined me recently, I appreciate it. Let me know what videos you would like to see. I'm sorry my uploads have been sparser recently. I work at a summer camp, so we're just, you know, constantly doing things all the time. Um, <laughs> but I've been having a ton of fun and spending so much time outside and I haven't had as much time to write as I wish I could have, but I have been able to put lots of trinkets in my journals to remember. So lots of pressed flowers, lots of notes from kids, the schedules from each day. I mean, there's just going to be a lot for me to look back on this summer, and I'm really happy about that. So thank you so much uh, for allowing me to share. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!